He's better score than what Blake I is. Think I he's think this score year you will see that. But anyways, okay. it's hoops and brews. Sorry, we started this off, but I just literally like the fucking disrespect that I hear on this sh- the, 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 that I hear in real life in regards to Steve Nash. But losers like Pappy, he just should have one MVP. Praise Chris Paul, like he's some fucking god, which he was not. No MVPs, none of this shit. Y'all think my bad. Y'all think Chris Paul have two MVPs? I mean, I mean, not not Chris Paul. Steve Nash had two MVPs. Two, two, two MVPs. Two. He should have one. Taking CP over Nash. Thank you. Because Nash plays both sides. I mean, because CP plays both Thank sides. You. Before. Thank you. That's a good point. Consistency. Nash Thank is, you. Nash is a better offensive player. Like to me, it's not. Kind of it's not that big of a gap though. Exactly. And I'm not even sure about that. I'm genuinely not sure about that. I actually think yeah. And Steve Nash also led the league in assists more years than Chris Paul. Because he's playing in Dan Tony's offense. Stop. If you put Chris Paul in that same offense, he would do the same thing. Times five. Well, so we're going to see it this year. Yeah, but he was also cold. But but he was Good also point. averaging 10 points a game. Yeah, but it's when he was in, But he was all. I mean, but Steve Nash was also averaging 10 assists a game when he was playing in Dallas. I know. In Don Nelson's offense. So stop acting like Steve Nash was all what he was in Phoenix. Steve Nash had the Steve Nash a full in Dallas fucking Steve career Nash in Phoenix. Dallas. Yeah, but that Steve Nash was an all-star. We talking about superstar. Yeah, but it's Steve Nash when also he was just entering into his prime when he left. Gee, how old was he when he left? You don't enter into your prime at 30? Huh? He was 30 when he left. He you was, don't enter your prime at 30? He was, uh, yes, yes. But you he enter was, your basketball prime at also, 30. But, but if you also look at the majority of his career in the first five years of his career, he was missing 15 to 20 games a season. Gee, you are 30. Nobody he finally got basketball no, prime before at he, 30. Before he left. Actually, that's actually I disagree with Who that. Because you, prime you literally just told me on a on a couple podcasts ago, Steph Curry is entering into his prime. He's twenty nine years no. old, right? No, he you told me that prime he had, three years no, ago. No, but you his told me. No, but you told me he is entering into the. No, I did not. You, you did. You no, said, I did not. You said in a couple podcasts. And I mean, not necessarily entering his prime, but that he is entering into the peak of his prime right now. Yeah. But so you don't enter your prime at thirty. This is like the peak of your prime. You don't enter it at thirty. What do you mean? He was still averaging seventeen and eight, seventeen Gee, and seven, and Dirk was the main guy. Bro, in those said, years in Dallas. Bro, bro, you Dirk said was he, the main guy said, in those years in Dallas. You said he entered his prime at 30 years old. Okay, fine. Nobody okay, entered fine. their basketball prime in, okay, at 30 fine. years old. He was old. entering the apex of his prime when he turned 30. Fine. Okay. He was in his prime for three years before. At, when he turned 30 was when he was at the very but height of his prime. he also joined D'Antoni, and his, and his numbers went crazy because he joined D'Antoni. But he also led, like, like didn't have something to do with that. But he's also led the league in like like more than Chris Paul. You keep talking about how great Chris Paul is. He played Chris in Paul was a ball-dominant point guard. Steve Nash ran a pick-and-roll offense in a seven-second offense where they ran, I mean, where they threw the ball down the court and people shot so threes. So you're trying to tell me if... So you, I'm telling so you, Chris so Paul had the ball in his hands more than Steve so Nash. You, so you trying to tell me if you put Chris Paul in D'Antoni's offense, he already averaged, what, 11 assists with with goddamn Byron Scott. You trying to tell me he would average like 13? He had Byron Scott, David West, and Tyson Chandler. And Old Page on his team. And gave you 11 assists. Put Chris Paul with Amari. Um, 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 Sean Chris Marion, Paul has had Blake Griffin. Joe John- J.J. Redick, who's still one of the greatest shooters of all time. And DeAndre Jordan. DeAndre Jordan can't score. He can't score. So what? And they had no wing player. Which was a huge fault. But you're telling, me, I don't but think you're, but you're telling me Chris Paul is this great player. Everybody keeps saying he's this great player, but then you every time, like you don't need other every time he loses, you person. make an excuse for no, why I'm he not. loses. Yes, you do. The only series I should say that they, the only time I would say, yo, they really should have won a series and they lost was against Houston. And when last they went up three one. And last year, no. If he's still a no. top twenty five player, you go out no. and win that series. Whatever. Blake was hurt. Whatever. When Steph was hurt, Clay and Draymond still went out and won. So I don't want to hear no excuses for Chris Paul. I don't want Draymond hear- better than uh, DJ. Is Clay better than DJ? You really want to see him say Draymond not the better player than DeAndre Jordan? No, no, no. Chris Paul was still on the floor. They don't have a. They have a better. Chris team. Chris Paul was still the on Warriors the floor. The Warriors still have a better team than what the Clippers have. You, you see what I'm talking about? What do you mean? What am I saying? Steph Curry got hurt. Home? Steph Curry got hurt. The man got on the team. Clay Thompson, Draymond Green still step up and win a series against get you to Portland. The next round. Blake Griffin gets hurt. Thank Chris you. Paul. It's different against no, Portland. No, it's not. Against Portland. It's not. It's thank you. It's not. Thank you. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. The whole system. Yeah. It's not. Okay. Okay. Fine. So you telling me that the Clippers from last year would have beat that Portland team? Healthy. Exactly. The fact Wait, that you healthy? have to, huh? Healthy? No, I'm talking about even with Blake Griffin being hurt last year. Steph Curry was out of that series when 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 the um, Warriors beat the Trailblazers that year when he sprained his. They might have won, but it might have won. And they beat that Houston team. They finished the Houston series and beat the Trailblazers without Steph. They have a better Steph team. Came back halfway in the they series. They have a better team. 
They actually just, just have a better team than what they so could without, have. So without the main guy, they win a series. They still and have they a better team. Win, oh, my God. They, do they not have the a better team? The that you guys make. They for, won 73 the damn games, G. for Chris Paul is ridiculous, G, we, we are comparing a 73-win team to the Clippers from last year. So who means more when you who, who means more to their team when they out? Blake Griffin and Steph Curry. Because basically what you're telling me is that Blake Griffin means more to the Clippers being out than Steph Curry means to the Warriors no, being out. Yes, I'm telling exactly you the Warriors have saying. a better that's team. That's exactly what no, you're I'm saying. No, I'm not. I'm telling that's you the exactly Warriors have a better team. Nah, Did I say that? Nah, Did nah I say but Chris that? Paul is a top 25 that? player, Did though. Did I say that? But Chris Paul is a top 25 player, though. You argue me he's still a top 5 point guard, but he can't win a series without Blake Griffin? Gee, the who fuck else going to score? The fuck out of here. Who else going to score? Chris Paul should be the one to score. You don't want to say You You keep saying. He averaged 25 points in that series. And they still didn't win. And in game seven, he choked like he no, always he did. Not. Did. He had a bad game. No, he choked. He didn't play his best game. He it happens. He does the what he only does. Series, he chokes. The Stop only comparing him to, to great players. The only like series the Clippers had. Steph Curry, get out of here. The only series the Clippers had that I think they should have won and that they didn't want win was when they went up 3-1 against the Rockets. Because when you go up 3-1, there is no situation in which you should lose. I don't care what happens. Everybody can die. You should still win one game. If you a top you 25 up player in the NBA, you should be able to close a game seven on your home floor. G. Period. I don't want to hear no talk when Blake about that went shit. Out. Period. When Blake went out, Period. did Utah not have a better score. team? You a top 25 when Blake player. Went out, did Utah You're a top not have a 25 team? player. You argue me here, top five point guard of all time. Go out and get G. it done. You act like it ain't 13 other people on the roster, though. Go out and get it done. You act like it ain't 13 other people on the roster. Right there on the floor. D, who can't score? And you also he still have another top five top ten shooter in the NBA on your team. I who had a no bad excuses. series? I don't want any no excuses. You know, JJ, JJ didn't have a bad no year excuses. last year, right? It's one common denominator in the in, uh, between the New Orleans Hornets and the Clippers for not making it to the conference finals. Chris Paul. Period. End of story. I'm done talking about it. Let's move on. Anyway, this is the We got guests. Apologies. They've been sitting here and they've been talking. Go ahead. Introduce yourselves. Yeah. Right, I'm, I'm right, done I'm, talking. I'm Joel. <laughs> What's your Twitter at, man? Oh, uh, follow me at the jokes. Uh, it's your boy TSM. Uh, my Twitter at will be it's underscore TSM. All right, cool. So they come here today. Got some youngins, and as always on Hoops and Brews, is where we drink beer and talk basketball. These two gentlemen are under twenty-one, so they are not drinking. <laughs> you under twenty-one, you better not be fucking drinking. Good kids. It's not even about being good kids. Just, just. Just like why? Just wait. You're going to have your whole life to get fucked up. Like, don't rush. <laughs> don't rush. Because once you start, you're not going to stop. And if you are over the age of 21, as always, do not drink and drive. That shit is wrong. You can kill somebody. It's fucking wrong. Don't do it.